Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me at Hearts of Iron 4, in which we're playing as Latvia, using, of course, the No Step Back DLC for Hearts of Iron 4, which Paradox did give me early access to, and, uh, access to for free. So, basically, we're going to start and go with the Suspend the Constitution of Latvia. The Constitution of Latvia was signed in 1922 to codify our democratic rights into law, however. With war on the horizon, it's clear that the Constitution has outlived its usefulness and must be suspended if we are to survive this crisis and empower the paramilitarists. The military of Latvia is useful and, of course, greater than any French paramilitary group, but we cannot continue to ignore these individuals who would risk their lives for Latvia with no promise of reward or recognition. Now, as you can see on the thumbnail, I want to go down a certain route and at least, at the very least, get a certain Ausland here, which sounds like a very, very fun time for us. So, as much as we want the sun shines equally, or maybe not, we're going to go with Latvia for Latvians. Our nation does not exist to appease Germans or Russians. Our nation exists for Latvians and Latvians, of course, alone. Though some would perhaps consider the Peronkrists to be ultra-nationalists, we know we must work with them if we are to secure Latvia's survival. So, right now, we're going to have an uprising eventually. Over time, the Peronkrists will gather support throughout the country, and if left unchecked, they will feel emboldened to attempt a coup on the government. Oh, boy, and eventually we will unify the Baltics, which would be a lot of fun. But, let's see, we can go to partial mobilization. We can go ahead and grab backroom backstabber. Some of these guys is not too bad. I would like to get some more army XP, though. Quite a bit more, actually. Um, honestly, with our industry... I don't know how long... This, this campaign's not going to be that long. So, let's just go ahead and grab some army XP with this guy. Kassian Berkis. Very good. And we have Democratic Opposition, which sucks. But we also have Perconkrists. Which is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Which is fine, fine, fine with us. Mechanical Computing, thank you very much. We don't have a big industry. We have four cities to use, which is... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Also, I let you know that this is this campaign. Oh, is a historical. The Kingdom of Poland crowns a king. But I did make sure that Germany goes fascist because we need them to go fascist. While the Soviets are still going to go historical, and they they are going to remain communist. Other than that, um, everything else is up for grabs. So, oh, Christian Friedrich, Friedrich Christian, you dude. But yeah, um, second London naval treaty signed. So we'll see what happens with the world. Honestly, I just want to form Austin. I don't really care about taking anyone else. I just want to form Austin. I think that sounds, sounds like a lot of fun. I just want Austin. I tried, I, and I practiced this off-screen, and I did get a United Baltic Empire, which is fun, but still. Oh, Baltic Assembly, huh? And also, we have no mods installed, unfortunately, just because of the time of recording. All mods are broken, even including Parallel Peace Conferences, State Chester Tool Mod, so it is what it is. But Latvia for Latvians, my friends. And then, Lift the Banner Perkonkrusts? Perkonkrusts? Uh, probably eventually. Let's grab some. Uh, let's get. Uh, I like this one more. Let's go with that one. So, lift the ban. You get more. Potentially more fascist daily support. And you get more 5% more popularity of fascism. We lose stability, though. Recruit fascists. You get more population, though. And you get more fascism, anyways. Lot female military industrial complex. Not bad. And the old ways. Which gives you more daily fascist support. Hmm. I kind of want to lift the ban first. Officially, the Pekronkrists. Group is outlawed, but their numbers still grow every day. By lifting the ban on the group, we shall show the dictatorship to be am amiable to their ideals. Nice. So since we're going down this way, and we have militarists, very cool dudes. Um, we have these guys, these guys, these guys. Socialist justice, huh? Patriotic socialist, Marxist fundamentalist. Uh, married to Latvia, huh? Oh, we want this guy. This guy's. We're gonna lift the ban and then do this one, so we get some more daily fascist support. We can move as fast as possible. This guy's not too bad. And I don't know. Maybe eventually we will do a campaign where we go with democracy, maybe. Or maybe a piece of Democrats. We might, might do ones with the SSRs. That might be fun to try out as well, just because we can. But I just want to beat up the Balkans. Oh, Balkans? Well, I want to beat up the Balkans. I want to beat the Baltics, too. Oh, not out of officer corps, huh? Uh, defense is nice. Let's go with more. I want more attack. I literally want more attack, so. And there goes Spain. Oh, Spain never changed. Um, starting new leader, plus two starting leader, plus one naval cost goes down. Let's go with this one, best of the best, just because we have one naval leader, I think, right now. I already chose him, and he's pretty generico. He's nothing, no, nothing really special, so. Um, what is interesting, though, with, when we go fascist, we can still go ahead and appease the Democrats. We can get more daily democracy support, and you can continue going down this path, too, which seems okay. I don't know why this is not, like, either or. Appease the Democrats versus empower the paramilitaries. A martial prime minister, though. So this is the underlying route. This is the more democratic route, which is weird that they can go with the fa fascist route. So beyond the Baltics, because when we get to, down here, we need to be in. We, and we're going to seek alignment with Germany, but still, uh, recruit fanatics. 
In the past, we would be hesitant to allow radicals into our armed forces as their motives belong more to their ideology than to Latvia. But Simonis and his followers surely wish to preserve Latvia and her independence as much as anyone else. And this uprising will make us 5% more fascist, so now we're at 42%. Not bad. Even though we could grab uh, one of these guys. But what are, what are these other people doing? What are, what are y'all up to? So y'all are low democratic opposition, Ismailit, moderate Babs tension. Oh, are you going fascist as well? And Estonia, that's pretty similar to us, but not exactly the same. And Lithuania, which route are you going? Oh, Are you going fascist too? Why is everyone going fascist here? Low iron wealth threat. Well, that's not good. Which means we gotta expedite this whole fascism thing very fast. Um, exile him? I think this is... No, let's free him? I think that's their fascist route. If the military seek ties with those guys, that's not good for us. Um, do the fanatic thing. Yeah, we're just gonna rush down the side. We, we have to. If, if these guys are gonna go this way... Because they're gonna seek ties with Germany, maybe? If not, then actually, that's okay with us. But I don't know, because this is ahistorical, so... Iron Wolf Youth seems really good, but mechanized attack and defense. Oh wow, new kind of Iron Wolf sounds really awesome. But after that one, we're gonna go the old ways because we we just need to get more uh, fascist support. So uh, the Perkon Christ do not pledge themselves to Christ in his teachings, but instead swear oaths to other gods far older. Conservatives call uh, Kelman's fascination with other with the ancient gods macabre and unnatural, but the Perkon fight for a truer Latvia. Free from the influence of foreign gods. The old ways. New means break with the crown. Anti-German propaganda would not be bad. Um, oh. You lose a lot of anti-fascist support. You get a lot of anti-fascist support. So you do the Forest Brothers. And then you probably go in this way. So well, maybe not that way. Wait, why is this eat the ore? Move into the workplace. Go down here. Forest Brothers. A multicultural Latvia. Uh, okay, well, whatever. Um, yeah, do that because you don't need to. And I can't do anything for land Oh, yeah, we need trucks. We definitely need trucks, because I already motorized everybody here already. So, equality campaigns? No, we're good. Empower the Democrats? No, we're good. And integrate the opposition? No, we're, we're, we're okay. We're okay. Yeah, the old ways are the way to go. Definitely the way to go. And these divisions are okay. So, four normal infantry divisions. 18 combat is pretty good. We have five eight combat divisions, which are pretty bad, with some cavalry... Which is slightly worse in defense than infantry. I didn't realize that. And slightly worse in breakthrough. Other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same. Fanatics, nice. Always. And then we also have a, an artillery division, which is weird to see. It's 15 combo width, but at least they have a lot of... They have quite a bit of artillery in there. That's pretty nice, actually. That's really, really, really nice. So we want to get... Well, we're already at 50... We're already at almost 55% anyway. So getting... Uh, which one? This guy? Would be bad, but not necessarily really necessary. Latvia in flames. The government's decision to left the ban of the fascist Sun Cross group has made Gustav Kel uh, Kelmans and his supporters emboldened and all the more active and violent throughout all of uh, Latvia. Today this violence has come to a head as a Pekron or Perkonkrists have armed themselves and marched on Riga demanding the immediate surrender of the Latvian government. Though it is clear that the government has the intention of collaborating with the Perkonkrists, it would seem the group has no intention of including careless Ulamis, Ulmanis and the regime of crushing traitors for stronger Latvia. Now Latvia has declared war on us, those traitors to our nation. So let's come over here and have a little bit of a civil war in February 22nd of 1937. And the old ways, my friends, but of course followed up quickly with the Latvian military complex. To arm the Proconcrus with all they need, Latvia must become a more of an arms factory than a state. Yay! Oh, we can seek a line. Oh, this is one melee first time. Seek a line with the Germans. The Germans uh, share disdain for all things leftist and weak. Though they have certainly made misguided attempts to subjugate Latvia in the past, we are certain they would not do such a thing again if our governments are aligned. Nice. Um, honestly, can you just take Riga? That'd be so nice if you could. So nice. No? Well, that sucks, bro. Hey, don't waste any more lives then. Come right here. Cut Riga off. Uh-oh. We even found out. Uh, help him out. Oh, we're getting attacked too. Oh, would you look at that? Hmm, that's not good. Can we swim here? Fighting over this river sucks. It really does suck. 66, huh? 65. Well, let's wait. Let them attack us a little bit. We'll attack them too. We'll get a little bit of give and take. What if we came back here? And did that. Oh, we need another field marshal. Um, there you go. 
Xenius Baz. Be offensive. Ah, big cares Mac too, because we have enough stuff for that. That's fine. Um, yeah, these guys are just okay. Let's see. Close air support. Uh, army entrenchment speed is okay, I guess. Army XP. Eh. Close entrenchment speed, I guess. It's fine. Let them attack us. Let them try to kill us. War propaganda would not be bad to do. Special land appropriation is fine. Just gonna hang out for now. Let them just kind of rail themselves against our line. It's fine. Get as much army XP as you can possibly grab. And he's becoming an infantry leader too, which is pretty nice. How much manpower does this side of Lafayette have? 40,000, wow. That's a lot more than us. We're going to need a raise conscription level, aren't we? Honestly, can we just start attacking here? If they keep attacking him, that's fine with me, but I want Riga. I really want Riga. Because when I try this off screen, we were able to punch a hole through here and then move up to here, so. Can you actually attack here? No, dang it, you can't. Radio's not bad. Mm, immediately next, it is 37. Get some more output. You could probably really use that. You should be able to punch a hole over there. Oh! They joined the Axis. The German Reich has accepted our request to join the Axis, hence, which will stand or fall together. None can stop us. Uh, oh. Free the Ugonskrists. Before we were the Prokronkrists, we were the Ugonskrists, oppressed and subjugated by the previous Latvian regime. Now that we are free, may, we may free the countless political prisoners who merely wish for a stronger Latvian state. Come on, this is stupid. Oh, 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 the Goshenka Ah, uh, this, this worked for me off screen. Now they're adding force. Bro, seriously. Seriously, what the heck? Why does it not work off screen? You know, okay, we could call in our allies. We're gonna wait though. Yeah, I got some truck. That's nice. Well, let's get those extra divisions. And once we have those extra divisions, we should be able to do really well here. So, here, let them attack us. Ooh, anything else here? No. Let's get more manpower too. We probably could use that. Trying to declare war on China. Yay! And after that, oh, that's what we good to do. Dev's keepers. Good Latvian pagans are beginning to grow more and more militant around our cause, seeing the Simmons as something as a religious leader. The far more conservative Catholics in our administration fear that the fascination of the Baltic paganism is beginning to transform into a cult, with Selmus as its charismatic leader. But we do stand to benefit from handing a rifle to these enthusiastic young men. Oh, the Germans are here too. I mean, we can call them in to help us out, but I don't, I don't want to call them in. I want us to do it. And they hear bold attack, attack, attack. Uh, uh. Command ability. Oh, wow. State serves the military. More political power would be really nice, actually. 10% is not too bad. Conscription. We do want to do the conscription stuff, too. Let's see what we have over here, though. Training time. Recon. Static warfare. What is that one? Nice. Better artillery is very good. Over here, grab some construction as well. Get those divisions out. Nice little uh, thing we have here for this. Uh, Gustavs, yes. Um, uh, oh, I'll go to work on me. Why not? Screw it. We'll go on first. And we should be able to win now with these extra five divisions here. Spread out, and we will attack probably here. And the divisions we just got were these, and they're 24 combat with. Oh, we got some thick daddies. Spot's going to suck, but that's all right. You should pretty easily be able to win here now. Supply issues. Always a problem. But no problem for us right now. Supply is really bad down here, though. Uh, get some trucks. Force it. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the guns, guys. Yeah, we could release more guns. Thank God for the Germans. There you go. Not bad. Go there. Go there. Go there. Spread out. Spread out and circle them. Good. And you guys go to the next. Fuddy duddies. Oh! Empowers the King's Party, huh? Nice. You should be able to run there pretty easily. Just take everything they can. 
Not bad, and go all in. Yeah, this is definitely a worse way of me doing this. I should have done it a different way, but whatever. Nice. But, we've got him. Cancel them. Why well, you cancel on these? Hey, the logistics not bad. Give these more guns though. Thanks a lot, Germany. So after that, we can do we need, for Austin. We need to do either the Baltic fascists, or we need to do uh, the lightning strikes. Support Baltic fascists. Oh, we could. The Baltics are brothers, and brothers must remain close. We're all three targets of foreign aggression. We cannot afford to have a weak world governments ruling the Baltic people. By supporting far right movements in Lithuania, Estonia, and Poland, we stand and create a Baltic bloc united and ready to fight the world. But I prefer lightning strikes. Our neighbors are weak and easily exploited. It would be prudent of us to bring Lithuania and Estonia into Latvian custody for their own protection, of course. And this one's not too bad either. Reorganize the Forest Brothers. The Forest Brothers are defenders of the Latvian identity and our right to self determination. But what plagues them is their infatuation with also defending the independence of Lithuanians and Estonians. This cannot continue, for the Forest Brothers of Latvia must pledge themselves to defend Latvia, Selmenis, and the Pakron Krust Party. Yes. That's a little bit ahead of time. We can't go quite there yet. Better planes? Yes. Why not? Supplies looking slightly better now. Uh, that stuff is okay. That stuff is just... It's, it's, it's alright. Go we'll grab you. I say we need more manpower, but whatever. And fact is, we're making some trucks. We're making more guns. We got some artillery. All this stuff is looking pretty good. Oh, we can't train any more of these guys. That sucks. So, we're using this template. That's not bad. We have this template. Which is actually not too bad either. You have 25 our organization. You guys have 54, 71 soft attack. But you guys have 118. That's not bad. So, first industry... Let's come over here and grab something else. It's 37. Anti-air, maybe? I don't know, maybe. I just want to go do lightning strikes. And more daily fashion support, and more attack, and more defense, and more political power. Oh, it's so nice, is it not? Oh, what are you guys? Kingdom of Lithuania. Oh, you went to Kingdom this route. Which is fine. If you ally with them, then we can go to war with Poland early. Because we do get cores on Poland when we do Austin. Vilno, Viljak, Latvia, Polisie. I, I always say that stuff wrong, so. Viljak, Vilno, look at Spain. Is it that one? And is it Bielsk? Flock? Vilno, Vilja. Polisie. Is it that N word? Not that N word, but this N word. Novo. Polisie, yeah. Vilno, Vilno, this one. Oh, God. And oh, oh, this one. So we go all the way down here. Wow, that's pretty far south. They refuse. They both refuse the ultimatum. Unmoved by Gustav Cementus of rhetoric <clears throat> of Baltic solidarity, the kingdom of uh, uh, Lithuania has refused to unify with the Thunder Cross Latvia, believing our unification to be nothing more than an act of imperialism meant to impede the Lithuanian people's right to Lithuania for Lithuanians. They are either Soviets traitors. They are impeding the Estonian people's right to Estonia for Estonians. All right, well, whatever. We have ways of making them talk. Nice. Come on, and we're going in. At least that's a big idea. And we're going to kill some more divisions. Nice. And we got Vodu. Let's go in, everybody. See what you can do. Mm, we're not doing bad. Look at that. Army XP, that's pretty nice. Pretty gosh darn nice, not gonna lie. I'll get some more, uh... Yeah, that'd be good. Any upgrades? Two, four, level three? Not bad, not bad, not bad. And let's go with... Spirit Firepower? Uh, as you can tell, this campaign's not gonna be very long, but like... Just wanna see what else we can do. Research speed? Yes, please. Oh man, we are killing them. Very mightily. Very, very mightily. What, you tell me we can't give them limited autonomy here for civilian oversight stuff? What? What? Uh, just going to Tallinn. It's fine. We'll be fine. And we got them. Beautiful. I took some of their trains too. I love their toy trains. Oh, thanks, Jeremy, for getting seeing this. And we're going to take these guys out before they demand Mamel because we want Mamel, obviously. Three. Two. 
one. We're not going to get this far in the campaign to do this, Bo. That's okay. Now, we can't do a general attack as much as I'd love to. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go do it. Some of these areas are going to be a little more difficult than others. But honestly, if you see stuff like this, they're, they're just not dying too much. They don't have a very, they're not very strong. Well, at the very least, it makes me feel better. And that's all. That's all that matters. How you feel about it makes. That's all that matters. All right, and Latvian military complex, and then we'll do awesome and finish it off. And we're struggling here. You know what? I'm kind of okay with that, just because we need more army XP. Cut them off here, and they'll be trapped. You might want to help out, guys. Nice. He's becoming an organizer, which is nice. How are you doing, Zanis? Not too bad, becoming a ranger too. We got plenty of guns. Plenty, 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 plenty of guns. So many guns, we're gonna throw on even more guns. National victory in the Spanish Civil War, that's pretty normal. Countess, yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Ah, look how weak they are. So nice. Capital under siege. Is this one or two tiles? Oh, the capital's gone. Kill these guys off of here. Oh, yeah. Um... Not really much we can choose here. Anything else? Level 4? Good, good, good. Oh, they are spreading out, aren't they? Alright, at this point, kill them off. Six divisions, kill them all off. Seriously, kill them all off. They're taking too long. Go in. How many men have we lost? 19,000, that's pretty bad. Well, they're gone. All right, we got them. Hey, they joined the Axis too. Oh. Pen eight incident, not bad. Uh, don't don't gar garrison German territories. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, and then we can do a United Baltic Empire, which would be fun. Uh, though the ideas of a single United Baltic state is something of an outlandish concept, it cannot be denied that a brotherhood extends beyond their borders, with Lithuania and Estonia under our control. We only need to integrate their administration with our, ours, and our ambition for Baltic hegemony will become a reality. Which we'll take that once we do this, maybe some other time, but awesome. The Germans have a design for a single state united of the Baltics and some regions of eastern Poland. Although the vision of Austin replaces Baltic Germans at the top of the hierarchy, there's no reason why we shouldn't capitalize on this plan and create an Austin of Latvian design. Which, actually, we can unify the Baltics. Now we're the Baltic Unitary State. With the conquest of all the lands belonging to the Baltic states, the Latvian government has now begun increasing the move towards the integration of the newly conquered territories. As a result, in an attempt to rally the people behind the state, there has been an increase in pan-nationalist propaganda with clear support from the government. A Latvian official has quoted as saying, The Baltic countries have always felt a strong kinship to each other. It's only natural that they should be unified, especially in light of the threats um, on our borders. Only by standing together can our peoples remain independent and free. They have therefore now proclaimed the true Baltic unity, renaming the country to the Baltic Unitary State. It's necessary for our survival. Absolutely. So, I, I keep improving these guys. Let's see, you guys have way too much artillery on you guys. You guys are what? You guys will be the garrison boys. Over here, do everything else. Oh, better fighters, yes. Guns, get some more of that too, that'd be nice. And anti air, ooh. Ah, keep it on four for now, it's fine. Um, yeah, you guys are pretty good. Doesn't really help you that much with that much, except for anti air stuff. You two convert. That's not bad. You have five of these types of divisions, but not terrible, so. And really, for the end of the campaign, I just want to invade Poland with the Germans. That's probably my main goal. I think that'd be the most fun. There you go. Okay. We did, we did start off with some planes too, so. Not bad. And then again, I guess we did have the Civil War. Did we lose our ships? No, we're still making two subs. Pretty good on naval doctrine. Pretty darn good. 
So if that's the case, not bad. Truck's looking okay. Gives us a few more guns. Actually, artillery's looking very good. We'll see about that. Oslin. I can't wait for Oslin. So after Oslin, we do this one? No. We need to be considered a major and we need... Huh. State of Paganism, United Baltic Empire. So we can't do that one. So let's come over here and do... Rejoin the railways. The Russians and Germans who occupied us have seen nothing more than... See us nothing more to roll backwater, but no more. Latvia shall be industrialized to a maximum potential, with uh, the, starting with an upgrade of a railways and infrastructure. Actually, if you take out everybody, you get a every single tile gets more stuff here. Oh, look at this. There you go, nice. So now we're Austin. Oh, that's so cool. I love Austin. I can even play as Austin in TNO, but still. Um, support weapons. It's not much more, but five percent more political power. It's it's basically nothing, but whatever. And then, of course, seek Axis investment. Germany's trade ports exist all along the Baltic, and although we were enemies once, it's undeniable that Axis trade and investments would strengthen the Latvian economy, economy I should say, immeasurably. Which sounds like a great, great thing for us, as long as the Germans don't try to take us out, which would be a god-awful thing, but that's okay. So we do have ten divisions. Um, you guys definitely need to train a little bit more. Okay, some of you guys are okay. Some of you guys are not. We have plenty of enough guns. We're actually feeling. Really, I'm feeling really good about this one. Uh, everything's motorized already, so rejoin the railways. Thank you. Let's see access investment. We got more infrastructure, anyways, which helps even further with supplies and resources. We're lacking quite a few, though. That sucks. We probably want to get rid of export focus next. Modernize our industry would be very strong, but I do want to go unchained education. But we'll see. Uh, it is 38 excavation. Why not? More land auction. Yes. Delay. Yes, please. And follow it up with... I do want to get this a lot, though. Ooh, civilian factories. But you get so many factories here. Five more is really nice. That's actually kind of strong. Oh, I'll track workers to Riga first, though. The workers of Latvia are spread disparately across the countryside, often working in an outdated agricultural sector. If we want to industrialize our war nation for war, then we must attract workers to the factories of Riga. You get three more civvies. Not bad. Oh, we're building infrastructure. Uh, let's build the roads second. Get some radar, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, not bad overall. Let's go there. Pronounce the treaty of. Oh, oh, they just went straight to war. Oh. France realigns foreign policy. Oh. Well, they're winning on defense. Oh, are they. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're force attacking. Oh, some of these guys are force attacking. Some of these guys are force attacking as well. Whoa. That's something I was not expecting. What is this? Italy declared war. Ooh. Well, Don of the Kingdom of the Romanian Congress. Okay, so that's luckily that uh, Yugoslavia joined the Romanians. Huh. Oh, they push in? Well, that's pretty costly, but hey. You know, as long as they do it. Uh, I'm okay, guys. I'm kind of okay. I don't want to get involved. There's only so much manpower here, literally, in the, in the Baltics. So, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Oh, these guys have been cut off. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really have a big interest in taking out the checks. If anything, I want the poles, and we can get a big ol' Austin, which I think would be best. The bigger the Austin, the bigger the love. Oh, you, the Italians are getting pushed out of Yugoslavia. Are you kidding me? Bro. Oh, no, Czechoslovakia joined him, too. Okay. That actually makes a lot of sense for them to do so. So now they're not cut off. Now is a, this is a giant mess. Oh my god. They're force attacking. Well, no wonder these guys could be able to push in. They left the front. Oh, Yugoslavia is pushing out a little bit. This is disgusting. Well, they lost the... Or abandoned the borders somewhat. Huh. Okay, this is really weird, but whatever. Um, rebuild the Riga forts. During the Independence Wars, Riga was more of a fort than a city. Although the fortifications have largely been dismantled and forgotten, they must be re rebuilt and maintained ready for war, just in case. You never know what could happen. Um, planes? Here, get some casts. Well, Hungary is doing some work, though. Um, are they out of equipment or manpower? I, I assume they're out of manpower. I thought I, thought I was going to say equipment, but okay. Guys, if you just go in, you could probably just beat the crap out of them. Then again, they're trying to appear and they're losing, so. Hungary is putting in some work. anti from pack. Oh! Hello! Okay, France went and joined the Axis too! 
Germany proposes that we have signed a pact to address the Comintern's goal of spreading communism worldwide. Through the use of subversion and violence, by signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation with the digital against this menace. Great. Oh. You went not Great Britain. Okay. Well, whatever. Hey, we made more divisions. Look at that. Nice. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Yeah. Rebuild the forts. Oh, my God. Please just don't attack all willy-nilly. I mean, you have the French support, too, now, but... Oh, my gosh. Please don't lose all your manpower. Please. I just wanted a simple campaign. Oh, Hungary's gonna lose all its manpower. They are pushing through here, too. Please don't force the attack. Like, I get it. Like, I said that's... I do, do that mistake, too. But please, 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 please don't do that. Luxembourg? Please tell me not guaranteed by the UK. Like, guaranteed by Canada, which is... Uh, well, the Commonwealth of Nations. I'm not too worried about that, then. At least some of these guys might die. This is sad. Guys, just go in. Like, look how weak that division is. I mean, yeah, they got some pretty good forts, but still. Still. Italian diplomatic isolation? What the heck? Uh. What do you. What? Do you not understand? Well, it looks like they're finally beating up Yugoslavia a little bit more now. I'm glad I'm not going to get involved. But unchained education. The Latvian educational system has long been restricted by desperate population centers, but now with the rural folk moving closer to the cities, we should be more capable of efficiently educating the Latvian youth. Absolutely. You're not going to use it for very long, but that's still okay. Whatever. Yeah, finish off the road. You might as well finish off the road first. It's fine. All right, resource-wise, we're doing okay. Yes, we are. Plane-wise, close air support. Yes, please. Even though we literally have no cast, but whatever. What is Stalin doing? Unknown. Anti-Soviet. Did anyone do the commenter pact? Oh, please don't go to war. Oh, the anti-commenter pact. Oh, look at this. The German Reich has secured fertile ground for diplomatic means for containing the Soviet menace. Uh oh. However, the pact does not cons constitute a military alliance, nor does it contain well-defined obligations for the signatories. Adolf Hitler now seeking to extend the pact to an anti-Soviet coalition, a binding agreement to join together in a war if any signatories enters into a state of war with the Soviet Union, while substantially more dangerous and likely to bring an end to any diplomacy we still maintain with the Soviets. It's also our chance to ensure that we have strong allies on our side in the case of war. Yeah, probably for the best. Yeah, once Yugoslavia dies, then Romania should be a little bit easier to take out. This is sad over here. Oh, do we need more guns, really? No, we got plenty of guns, huh? Why would I want to join? It's just a giant mess. Oh, they're out of manpower. They're out of manpower. Oh, you're out of manpower. You're out of manpower, guys. I'm glad I'm not involved in this conflict. That's improved working conditions, though. Actually, are you guaranteed? Oh, but they are guaranteed by the Great British. Okay. Uh, we don't want to go to war yet until the, like this is all done first. So, yeah, yeah. Actually, can we just just fight on poles just so we can so we can get the stuff ready to go? Yeah, the game's good. Eighty days is good to do for now, anyways. All right, let's go try to get another research slot. Uh, arm the nation. That's really good. What? What? Anglo-German. Okay, they just joined the Axis. Okay. Wow. This is... Why? When I leave it on a historical, but make sure Germany stays fascist, France joins, Great Britain joins, Italy joins, which is historical, but not really, and Hungary joins. Okay. Technology sharing? You might as well get another research slot. That's... that's that's nice. That's really nice. Two free research slots. Um, whatever. We have produced many of our partners' equipment already, but perhaps by studying their designs, we should be able to significantly improve native Latvian designs. Lay Alex and Berg didn't really have a chance. Yeah. So these guys destroyed. They should be able to move in here more quickly, right? Can anyone take out the checks? Please. Um, hundred thousand not bad. They're literally out of manpower. Come on. This is basically the EU, like of Western and Central European states. 
Oh, there's priority. Zog submits Italy, as they should. That's a lot of Italian stuff. Oh, oh yeah, China's fi fighting and dying. Oh, India's here too, look at that. What the heck is this? The comment... Comment turn. Ah, they must have been cooing each other in a bunch. Yeah. Alright, this is not pretty. You're also pretty darn ugly. So, we might as well just go to war as soon as we can. There's no point to wait. 39, get more construction stuff, that'd be good. Christian Polish sovereignty, as we all should. Do the Poles deserve freedom? Uh, plane, air safety. Let's go with that one. On chain or education. And after this one, yeah. Texture agreement. I mean, that'd be really strong for us. Strong for all of us, so. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. It's nice, guys. And then modernize our industry. For too long, a lot of these outputs have been defined by agriculture, but no more. Concentrate our industry around major cities and centers, and each state would turn off into a modern economy. Could we? Could we? Could we hold out here just by ourselves? Let's see. Let's take, let's take, let's, let's risk it. Because overall, we're not too bad. Especially if we divert soldiers away from other like the German garrisons and stuff like that. So. Yeah. If it's just us, can we actually hold out here? Maybe, maybe not. They did force a defense. Should be able to bolster our side up, though. Ooh, that did weaken us a little bit. 3,000 versus 10,000. They have bigger, you know, manpower pool than us, though. They are forcing an attack. Why does AI force attack so much now? Good luck with that, guys. Yeah, they... they why? Oh, what is this? Losing trains enemy logistics strikes. Oh, that sucks. Oh, Ireland's gone. Goodbye, Ireland. They're influencing our politics. For a long time, the Soviet government sought to align the path of our countries and was often tried to meddle in Austin's politics. Recently, this has intensified as the VKP beat. So, started pushing the communist propaganda with no respect for Ostlander political traditions. A number of speeches and other communist material has already been distributed to Ostlander people. It seems that even a number of politicians and other officials are being swayed by the Soviet propaganda and have begun advocating for the communism in Austin. How dare they? Did they actually win here? Come on. God dang it. Are you kidding me? Guys, just win in Romania. Holy crap. Please, for the love of God, take it out. The Franco-German Pact. Well, everyone's still in Axis, so... Alright, you wanna do that? We're gonna force defense then. And we're gonna force... We're gonna attack here too. You force attack, we force defense. Easy as that. Uh, I don't want to call our allies in. Yeah, Austin's pretty weak. My god, can you not just win down here? Let's do it. Call everyone in. That makes sense. Austin is so weak. Yeah, you want you want to do this stuff, man? Oh, we didn't give you stuff. Yeah, see what you can do, huh? That's what I thought. That's what I flippin' thought. Let's go with three. I do want... Oh, we need more manpower, too. I'll uh, give him some anti-air. Long Yun takes ownership in China. Technology sharing, not bad. About well, ready to do this one. Oh, yeah. A fifth research slot. That's pretty strong, especially for like a nation like us. That seems pretty darn strong. The Germans haven't come in yet. At least it doesn't look like they have. Excavation is not bad. Get some better guns, yes. Mexico is going crazy, which is fine with us. Infantry experts, good. 
Bangladesh and Pakistan. Very nice. All right, you force defense. We're going to force the attack. So we get even more breakthrough too. There's an easy way to do it. Just go there. Oh my god! Stop! 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 Oh my god! And the U.S. is trying to kill us off now. Of course. What a weird world we live in, man. What a really weird world. It's all right. If you take this towel and take that towel, you take both these towels. And they're surrounded. They can't do anything. Go in. Come on. God dang it. Oh, sure, guys. Sure. Why not? Uh, manpower? Yes, please. How many minutes have we lost? 45,000. It's quite a bit. We've killed off quite a few guys, though, which is pretty nice. I don't know why they won't take these guys out, but I just wanted a big awesome. That's all I wanted. That's literally all I wanted. But if we're fighting all together, all most of the major powers of Europe fighting like this, that's not too bad. Uh, sorry, Belgium. I don't, you might be able to win, maybe. Why is the AI so dumb? The AI is so incredibly stupid. I guess just go that way. Um, seals? Warsaw, maybe, even? Sure, guys. I got some map out. That's nice. Fine, it's fine. So I got see. Why do we have to deal with that? Hopefully we don't. Fighters be very good. Sure, guys. Whoa, it took Warsaw. Let's crack out the government. Yeah. Go to Kiel's. To make your way there, uh... Oh, wait, they found us. Oh, boy. This is one way of trying to take out Poland. I swear, it's definitely one way to take it out. Uh, where's the capital? Why is Gdansk the capital, man? Man. Oh, there's China. Well, they've just been called in, but they're not gonna live. So... Bro, it's only three divisions. Ma Bufang? Oh, man, China is just Battle Royale China now. Holy crap. Bro. Why can you not win here? There you go, that's better. Lost Krakow, that's okay. Germany, would you like to come in? Oh, that's not bad. Um, natural resources. Yes, 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 yes. Steel's made a country rich from trade with the Soviets, allies, and our fellow Baltic states alike, and we would do well to invest more into this industry by investing in mills across the nation. Might as well. Good. Advanced machine tools, not bad. Better arty, yes, please. No, not bad so far. Well, 100,000 yet. Losses, not yet. That's not good. We need more steel. Oof. Bro, how have you not won here yet? What the heck is going on? We even have green air. Bro, they are cheating hard or something. Why won't Poland die? Hello. Oh, they want probably my mail and stuff. Around the mag, yeah, no, uh, we're okay. Did Germany go to war them finally? Thank God. Thank the Lord. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill off Romania. I'm sorry, I don't care about Romania. Sorry, not sorry. There we go. Finally, Poland's died. Thank God. And open up another way to get into Hungary here, or Romania, I should say. Or we can just help take out the checks. Because this is ridiculous. And again, if we just focus on the Romanians, that's all we need. But supply is so bad down here, I don't think we will. If we go this way, you should do okay. 
Four bombs wouldn't be too bad. Really didn't plan on having Awesome B this, become this big, but, you know, whatever. Netherlands, that's fine. Are they doing, they're doing force defense. Nice! Nice. Hmm. Baltic School of Aviation? Arm the nation. All across Latvia, there are men ready to face the oncoming threat of a Soviet invasion, but they lack the equipment to do so. We must ready our arms industry for the rapid production of infantry equipment. Why can we sort of win here and they cannot? It to make it no sense, sir. So. Oh my god, please stop doing that. Can we just go to War of Bulgaria too? Like, open up the front. Why does it take a bunch of Auslanders to win here? Oh! Well, we got China. No, I want... Oh, let's take this. I don't care what happens over there. Um, Polise? That's all I want. That's literally all I want from this. But if we can take more, that wouldn't be too bad, would it? Oh my god, it's gonna be so ugly. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Oh my gosh, why do we own this? Uh, why do you still live? Um, release nation, release nation. Sure. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, Supply-wise, it's so bad down here. But, you know what? I think that's going to be it for us. Uh, this has turned into a very weird world. And I didn't plan this campaign being too long, so that's going to be it for us. Just because I want to see what would have happened. But hey, if you enjoyed the weird, weird Axis world, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.